Good evening guys, uh, this is attempt number two, um, just filming the uh, uh, second dry fitting. Um, first attempt for some reason um, it was very much dark in my workroom. Um, well, it wasn't dark but the video came out quite dark, um, so I'm just filming it again. Right, where do we begin? Right, okay, if we look down at the bottom, there's the uh, displacer, it's a CD, well, DVD, one that uh, got screwed up, as mentioned before. The supports are in place for the uh, crankshaft, wonderful, and there we have it. Um, I say it's a dry fit, um, but I have put hot melt glue around the bottom of the cylinder wall to uh, seal it onto the uh, the hot plate. Right, that there, um, I think I mentioned it, it's going to be filled with grease to create an airlock to stop the um, air from leaking up the uh, shaft for the displacer. Next to it, I've just stuck a um, copper tube, same diameter as the power piston that I'm using just for illustration purposes so you can see where it's going to go, what it's going to look like. Um, the power piston itself, um, what can I say, it's still uh, experimenting with it. So it's sat on top of a router at the moment drying. Right, so let's have a look up here. Didn't have anything um, either bushes or bearings wise to uh, hold the crankshaft. So I took, um, um, I think it's steel angle um, that I got that's uh, for these M4 rods and drilled some holes in. You can just about see. That's a bit better. Sorry it's blurred, this thing doesn't focus very well at uh, close range. Um, all I've done is taken some uh, copper wire, drilled some very small holes in it and just wrapped the wire around over the top just to keep the shaft down. Um, yes, it generates a lot of friction, um, but what will happen is as it uh, wears, uh, the friction should reduce. Seen the crankshaft itself before and how I made it. So, same at both ends. Um, you've seen that before, um, got it from a CD-ROM drive, um, there's going to be a flywheel on that when I secure it down. And that's that. Um, managed to, um, the rod that runs down that small one, uh, thought uh, a 1mm thick rod would be enough and didn't think I'd bend it and while I was running it I uh, managed to bend it. Unfortunately the bend is inside there out of the CD. Not helpful. So that's uh, uh, the rod for the displacer is going to get replaced with a 2mm rod same as what the crankshaft and the one for the power piston is made out of. I'm um, going to need to create some sort of joint for both the um, displacer and the power piston. Um, basically to, because uh, of the uh, offset in the crank, there, it uh, pulls it over a bit too much and doesn't, uh, generally doesn't like it. So, I mean there's not that much friction on it. And as you can see, the weight of the CD itself quite happily pulls it down. As I said, this sunnier dry fit, so the CD is actually scrubbing against the uh, um, the cylinder walls due to the uh, bend in the shaft, which is kind of annoying. But there we go. Um, as I said, the rivets. Um, Due to adjustment, 
um, they've not been pulled all the way through so it's still well not slack but I can adjust the uh, the corner brackets to the right angle so now I'll just pull them, up, them through and tighten them up and that's about it um, anything that I've got to change not that I can think of um, there's going to be a heat sink down here um, or at least I think they will anyway um, I've pulled one off a um, slot 1 processor uh, P2 I think it was um, yes I hate them uh, just uh, just big enough to fit in there lengthwise um, just to keep the cold side cool and there we have it so it's now going to be taken apart um, the displacer shaft replaced um, the hole that the displacer shaft goes through will have to be made a bit bigger I was going to make it a bit bigger anyway because uh, it is scroping a bit um, and that's about it, that's pretty much where we're up to there's not much really to be said, it's quite uh, simple and self-explanatory uh, apologies for the uh, the clutter in the background what can I say I'm working on this at the moment Oh, I've just spotted a slight bend there <laughs> I will I'll sort that out during testing I have um, attached my uh, Dremel to the end of the crankshaft and just spun it over slowly um, just to get some of the, the kinks out and see how much friction there is it's not a great deal so we'll see how it goes Right. Be back soon, guys. Hope this was uh, informative for you. Talk to you later.